Hey everybody, LPs for games, and it's going to be a TDM on Crash on Call of Duty Modern Warfare Reflex, and I'm using my newly acquired P90 with frag times three, but no, I do not spam those frags. And this week has been very, very, very intense with the gaming commentators and everybody. Um, starting off is about the billionaire showdown and all that other stuff. And look at this, I'm first death, I think. Yeah, I'm a failure. So the billionaire showdown, if, for those of you who do not know, is this guy named Alki David, the billionaire. Uh, flew Wings of Redemption, Woody's Gaming Tag, X Jaws, White Boy 7th Street, and Only Use Me Blade to um, his mansion to compete for a $10,000 prize. And basically, Alki David is the biggest douchebag in the whole gaming scene. And what he did was during one of the live broadcasts, he um, bring like sex toys, and then he hoaxed a English or England guy's um, uh, self suicide or something like that. And um, everybody's like dropping out, and everybody's getting mad at him. And he's just like a big um, douchebag. Uh, money kind of corrupts you, so I wonder if that's the reason why he's such a douchebag. I mean, honestly, I can think of so many people who deserve that money more. Um, and then another story was, another hot topic was about bumping, and I was just like, what? So basically, people are getting mad at other people for bumping videos, and basically bumping videos is um, when you set your video to private and then unprivate it, even if it's an old video, just so it would end up on the top of the homepage of YouTube. And uh, everybody's getting mad, and well, I don't know why that's such a hot topic. It doesn't even seem like very relevant, in my opinion. Um, so I've got I got no opinion on that. I'm just like I don't care. If I already watched it, it says you've watched this already, so I don't care. I mean, it could be slightly annoying if everybody did that, but I'm sure um, it doesn't really matter. And uh, YouTube should just get rid of it if it already says you watched this. Uh, and I guess it's a legitimate argument because um, uh, most people do it for money or views or success or something like that. I don't know. Uh, their channel growth. I don't care in my opinion, so don't ask me what my stance is on that because I don't do that. I don't care if you do that. Basically, I think people who um, bump their videos a lot are like not worth watching. I know um, one week commentator in particular always says um, if you missed this video uh, go ahead and check it out actually I know like two Wii commentators that are big uh, one of them has like 700 subs so I wonder if you can figure him out honestly I don't care though it's 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 I guess it's like a personal thing you don't want to be um, felt like you're being taken advantage of even though you don't have to click the video if you've already watched it um, so yeah no opinion there and then during um, the live broadcast of the Billionaire Challenge, x said the N-word, and now everybody's calling him a racist. And I have no opinion on that either, because I'm, he didn't even use it as like a um, racial slur, he used it as like a general like like statement. Like, I'm, I'm sure you're not supposed to be saying the N-word a lot, but he said it as a joke instead of saying, oh, look at that N-word. He's so black or something, I don't know. I'm not a good racist impersonator, so don't ask me anything about that. Um, and I don't know anybody who's like in particular really racist. This generation of kids nowadays aren't racist, and that's a good thing. We should just all forget about those times. And the more you um, like, if you make it out to be more than it actually is, then you're just making the problems worse. Like, I'm extras. I'm sure he's not a racist, and I'm pretty sure he's Jewish too, so if anybody who gets beat down in like the racial slurs is like Jewish people, so there you go. There's my opinion on that, I have nothing against x Jaws for saying that. I did, Should he have said it? No, but that's up to him. He has control over his own mouth. So yeah, it's been pretty tough for lots of commentators out there, especially Woody's gamer tag. Uh, people are accusing him of bumping his videos because he's like, oh, if you miss this video, go check it out. And, and um, 
everybody accuses him of bumping videos and he's calling him like an old douchebag now which is a little intense I guess oh my gosh you people you are making me lose my breath and then uh, another story that came out today was like about guns for hire from next gen tactics on his the gun shop channel basically called out C Nanners and called him a childish um, little kid or like a schoolyard bully because what C Nanners did was he called out all the commentators that came after him and called them money greedy whore bags or something like that I kinda mixed up my words like greedy money whore bags uh, that's not sounding any better so I'm just gonna stop talking and what he uh, and now uh, Guns for Hire from Next Gen Tactics is very upset at C Nanners for his childish um, uh, like display. And what uh, C Nanners did was he said um, he's like not in it for the money, which I'm sure is bull because he works with games. He said people should get a real job, so um, he's kind of like it's like a double standard or something like that. I don't know. And um, I guess it doesn't apply for him because he works at Machinima and that's his only job. And now he's talking about how he doesn't want to be associated with the new commentators like White Boy 7th Street, um, Woody's Gamertag, Wings of Redemption, Only Use Me Blade, x -Jaws. He doesn't want to be associated with people like that uh, because he thinks they only do it for the money. So he doesn't have any right to say that because he, for like one fact, does not know that it's true unless he talked to them and was like oh you want to do this for the money you guys right and they're all like yeah I do it for the money and Wings of Redemption um, basically says uh, he doesn't do it for the money uh, in particular he just started making funny like videos because he was in like financial problems or something like that he can put food on his table now and because of YouTube and um, the partnership and all that other stuff so it's basically turned into like this giant argument where there's like four different sides where one side is um, kind of in the middle and they don't have any opinion then there's the other side where you're uh, in favor of your favorite commentator those are the um, the biased ones quote unquote and uh, they will always agree with their favorite commentators because they want to be like them and they won't, don't want to have uh, any like real um, decisions in their life or something like that and uh, there's ones that are on C Nanner's side and there's ones that are um, uh, on uh, Guns For Hire's side which I am sort of leaning towards because Guns For Hire has to be one of the most legitly um, unbiased and uh, open person on YouTube. Uh, go check out The Gun Shop if you think uh, you'd enjoy listening to Guns For Hire. He does uh, basic news and um, reviews and stuff like that on The Gun Shop. And go check out Next Gen Tactics if you want to see him play some Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 or COD 4. He doesn't play Black Ops because he says it sucks. And I kind of agree with him on there. Not because he's my favorite commentator or anything like that. I'd have to say one of my favorite commentators is SSOHPKC. And, um, yeah, it's been just giant heat of balonium. And, uh, tell me your opinion on this um, whole debate and argument and all that other stuff. If you have no idea what I was talking about, then I'm sorry this is probably really irrelevant and boring to you. So yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Enjoy the rest of the gameplay. And until next time, everybody, peace. Let's go. 